And we want to, you know, see when you know someone sincerely and genuinely is looking into Islam and comes here asking sincere questions to uh, Zishan. Yeah. Um, so was you like on the verge? Because me and Brother Abbas want to know because he was asking the question, what is it? Was, was, was last week the point where you was like, okay, if I get these answers, I'll accept this time. Or did something happen Monday? Tell us about it. I, I was, yes, brother. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm a very uh, critical person. Yes. You know, I like to, uh, uh, you know, when, when I look at a matter, I yes. go deep, yes, I look into same, everything, same, same, same. I read as much as I can, yes, I speak yes. to people, you know? Yeah. So I was hesitant about expect, accepting Islam. You was? Well, yes, I was. Okay. Well, what, what changed for me, really? Brothers and sisters and dear friends, hope you guys are well, inshallah. So if you remember Lucas from last week, Baba Pass, please. No, 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 no. Don't try it. Don't try to take a step back, please. We call you on camera. You can't go anywhere. This is like a, a, a speed camera. Once you get caught, you can't say, oh, I didn't I know. the big boss is here. The uh, guy doesn't need to be here. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nobody, <laughs> as every, all of you guys know. We know who the big boss is. <laughs> okay, so Lucas was someone that was genuine. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is obviously to get an update uh, for the people as well, the viewers, if you guys remember Lucas. And we want to, you know, see when you know someone sincerely and genuinely is looking into Islam and comes here asking sincere questions because we saw that in you last week because you did ask some questions you know that made me sweat a bit okay. I didn't show you but I was sweating you don't know this I was doing a bit of this Masha in the back Allah. yes <laughs> so as you can see he said mashallah because he accepted Islam Monday yes yeah not with me with uh, another brother uh, alhamdulillah may Allah accept it um, last week you came here you asked some questions was you on the verge was it uh, like you spoke to Ustad Adnan, not yeah. just me, you spoke to Ustad Adnan, you spoke to uh, Zishan. Yeah. Um, so was you like on the verge, because me and Brother Abbas want to know, because he was asking the question, what is it? Was, it was, was last week the point where you was like, okay, if I get these answers, I'll accept this time, or did something happen Monday? Tell us about it. I, I was, yes, brother. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm a very uh, critical person. Yes. You know, I like to, uh, uh, you know, when, when I look at a matter, I yes. go deep, yes, I same. look into same, everything, same, same. I read as much as I can, yes, I speak yes. to people, you know? Yeah. So I was hesitant about expect, accepting Islam. You was? Well, yes, I was. Okay. Well, what, what changed it for me really was, you know, uh, uh, um, let's be honest, my dawah. Now, let's be honest yeah. here. Now, please tell the camera, it was Ali Dawah's style. It was, I'm joking. Brother, brother, you know, it's, it's, it's all of us, in it? Because, yeah, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're in Now, this, this, this so, the matter of shahada, yeah. it comes from Allah. You know, we convey the message. Yes. There's something we speak to. We show them, like, clear cut, apparently, yes. they don't accept it. So, yes. this matter of shahada taking accept, accepting yeah. Islam is a matter of the heart. Yes. And it comes, yes, we it's, can be a means, like, oh, good answer here, etc. It's, yeah. it's Qadr, brother. It's yes. predestination. We believe it's yes, Allah yes, who, who, yes. who guides us in the right way. Yes, 100%. You know? yeah. So, uh, for, for me, myself, I can't say, oh, yeah, I, I wanted to be a Muslim. I decided to be, to be a Muslim. No, so, la like last it's week, Allah. Lucas, was you, like, in that, when you said I was apprehensive? Yeah. Or was it like, okay, it was kind of making sense to you? Where was it, like, last week? So, I mean, you know, what, what I would say really changed it for me. It was a uh, brother, um, he's uh, Dr. Fazal Rahman. Dawah made easy. Look at yes, the YouTube yes, channel. Yes, yes, I know him. I, know him so yeah, yeah. He, I said my shahada yeah. to him first. Oh, and mashallah. You know, Kilburn? Uh, no, it was in uh, South Kensington. Oh, okay, mashallah. mashallah. He has a dawah table. Does dawah okay, table, all right, right, okay, yeah. So yeah. The, the, the thing about the brother is he, he's very persistent. Mm. So, you know, he, he was like saying to me, okay, you yeah. believe in one God, yeah. you believe that Muhammad is his messenger, yeah. you believe in the Quran, so yeah. you're a Muslim already. Yeah, exactly, you are. It's so, like, like, that's what I say to people. It's yeah. like your favorite food. Like, it's like me saying, I love dark chocolate. Yeah. But instead of keeping it inside me, I express it. I love dark chocolate. Exactly. The child is like that. You, if you really believe in it and love it, it's just expressing it. Brother, yes. if I can ask you, Brother, what, what was come here your journey? Please. No, no, yeah. it's okay. Not here, because you know the Michael Pickles uh, brother. And he doesn't have to look that way in this what, way. What was uh, your journey leading up to the Shahada, though? Yeah. How yeah. many years have you been looking into Islam? What triggered you to look into Islam in the first place? I mean, mashallah, I've been looking at Islam for a long time. Okay. Uh, I've known many Muslims throughout my life, okay. neighbors, friends. Okay. Uh, so I knew a little bit already. Okay, and yeah. then, you know, it was just like Ali Dawa and the other brothers was the final push, basically, Mashallah. that, you know, brought me to Islam. So have, have you been, so have you been watching Speaker's Corner videos as well, or? I have, yeah, okay. I've been here many times. Yeah. Oh, you have been here many times as well, Mashallah. Yeah. And, oh, by the way, I wanted yeah, to say, yeah. What finally convinced me about Islam is it, it just makes sense. You know, I'm talking on a logical, reasonable Rational level. level. Compare it to, say, Christianity, to atheism, to all the other religions. Yeah. Islam makes sense at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So, you know. you know. You know what I wanted to ask you is because, you know, we look at this critical question that, for example, the Lords of Apostasy, the Prophet's marriage to Aisha, yeah. and all these other uh, things that are made to seem uh, like, you know, if anybody's watching this, like, for example, they'll be like, oh, no. You know, and, and a lot of critics, like you said, because you spoke about one thing that he said was very interesting. He's like, he, he always wondered, why is everyone coming against Islam? Like, you have the ex-Muslim and the Christians and the atheists, and they all, you don't have, like, for example, you never see an ex-Christian or an ex-Jew joining with the Muslims against Christianity. Right, right. But you see that uh, with, like, for example, and you said you was very 
intrigued. Like, why why are they all yes. focused on Islam? Yes. Yeah. Did, did you want to address one of those questions particularly? Yeah, yeah like, for or, example, yeah, like, give, give the, the laws of, let's say, apostasy, or okay. the promised marriage to Aisha. I'm sure, like, someone would say, how, how could you accept Islam knowing these, yeah. thing, these things are taught in Islam, even though they misconstrue yeah. it? Okay, well, what I would say to that is, as you say, brother, these are the common, you know, attacks. These are the common slanders that people bring yeah. against Islam. And I'm sure a brother, uh, someone like yourself or yeah. you, brother, yeah. you know, maybe you, you've, you've been trained in Dawah, so yeah. you know how to respond to these things. Yeah, yeah. What I would say is, as Muslims, we need to, uh, uh, we need to be very firm in our faith. Yeah. We need to, you know, have answers for these questions. Yes. Because people are going to come to us with these questions. What exactly. do we say to them? So what I would say is, with the, uh, uh, with the apostasy thing, yeah. uh, you know, obviously what we talked about last week is, yeah. if someone leaves Islam, Islam. Yeah. Okay, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said there is no compulsion in religion. Yeah. So, you know, you leave Islam, that's your matter, but yeah. don't go spreading corruption exactly. in the land. Don't go saying to people, oh, you can have sex, you can drink alcohol, exactly. and you that's, can you do know, all this. You nonsense. know, Lucas, you know, for example, they, they, they make it seem as this is something uh, specific to ex Muslims, yeah? yeah? This is the issue of Ridda, it's called Ridda. It's actually rebellion. Because yeah. if you think about it, if one wants to leave Islam, Bye bye. Like, you know, we, we might have even Al Khaim's view, which is that if you have the you know the treaty of Hudaybiyah, that he doesn't believe it's abrogated, that like, you can even get that person and extradite them to a different country. Yeah. But the point is this: if you look at the Quran, chapter forty-nine, verse nine or twelve, if I'm not mistaken, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talks about a rebellious Muslim group yeah. fighting another Muslim group, yeah. and it says, "Fight them until they come back to the way of Allah." So, if this issue was an issue of just ex-Muslims, why would God Almighty command the Muslims to fight other Muslims? Yeah. Because the issue here is rebellion. Yes. If the issue was a rebellion, we can say, "Oh." We're just singling out uh, ex-Muslims. No, the issue is, is, in Islam, state and religion is one. Yeah. So when somebody comes and does this kind of act, there's corruption in the land. And in Islam, Islam gives a greater right to the communal rights yes. than an individual. So if an individual comes and says, I want a right to drink alcohol, we say, what impact would that have on this community exactly. as a whole? Exactly. A great impact. But we will, uh, we will stop that because we know the consequences are going to be great. And we see that today. Yes. So there is answers, but, you know, I, I, I don't know, brother, brother, if there's anything you want to add on. But in, in a nutshell, it, it, it shows you, brothers and sisters, when someone is genuine and sincere. I don't know how long you spent. I spent three and a half years looking into okay. Judaism, Islam. I was reading the Bible. You know, I, I had to be sure. Yes. If I'm going to dedicate myself, I had to be sure. So I don't know how long. How long did you spend? Uh, roughly the same amount of time. Oh, wow. Longer, so this yeah. has been a long journey. It has. Yes. Okay. okay. Mashallah. And, uh, you know, like you said, brother, you know, we... Say mashallah again. We love it. Say again. Mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have answers to all of these questions. <laughs> so I think it's just a question of, you know, when people come to us, you know, let's answer them. You know, from the Quran, from the Sunnah, yeah. it's, it's all in there. Yeah. So, you know, there's, we're, yeah. we're not hiding anything at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. You know, we're, we're not like, uh, you know, we got, we're doing some uh, uh, bad thing and we don't yeah. want people to know about it. No. Yeah. The, Muhammad said, peace be upon him, in his last sermon, he says, I have come to you. At, this day I perfected yeah, your religion, your religion yes. right? So, you know, we accept that the Quran is the word of God. We accept that it's perfect. Yes. And, uh, you know, we just go from there. Go yeah, from exactly. there. Well, as, as a new Muslim, I personally, uh, would have to tell you because it's very important as a, it's an obligation for us I don't know if Robert Abbas would agree there are certain groups and individuals that might pull you in yeah. I have to as a, as a Muslim that cares about you have to warn you against those because uh, innovation. Yes, sort of for thing. example, no, well, there are these groups that deem okay. everyone's innovators So be careful the groups that draw you in and this whole notion of you know like ISIS sympathizers etc because we don't want, we, what's really sad for us Muslims is that people like you who are genuine, who get sucked in because you're sincere, you want good, you, you, it's, 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 you know when you come to Islam, it's a whole, because when you've lived that life of uh, um, jahiliyyah in the, in, in the past, you feel guilty and you want to make it up, so you've got full zeal. Now when that zeal is misused and people redirect you to places that you shouldn't, I have to tell you, be careful about groups. Any group that comes and says to you, oh, don't listen to da 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 da, be, be very careful because we don't want you to fall into the trap and what happens is they usually suck these people's um, the, the zeal that they had they destroy it and what happens is this person resents Islam and that is not the Islam that uh, the Prophet Sallallahu came to I would tell you to focus on knowing uh, who Allah is his attributes uh, you know uh, 99, names. Yes, ni <coughs> 99 names and also for example uh, reading books on Aqidah as well you know getting to know who Allah is on Aqidah like, like it's um, uh, oh, Jewish, Jewish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So for legality, yeah, structure. doctrine, doctrine, oh, doctrine. Okay. Yeah. So I would say get to know Allah, because once once you get to know Allah and fall in love, and there's many speakers, you know, like you know in the park. But for her, often is like Mufti Menk. You know, I recommend Mufti Menk. I've seen your discussions with him. Yes, Very yes, good yes. Discussion. And the Quran, for example, I'll be honest with you, Numan Ali Khan. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't agree with everything he does, but Numan Ali Khan, it, Khan is a gem for the linguistic. For linguistic, the Quran, like he will, he will make you. It, it's like. 
you, you dive into the Quran, like wow, like, it's, it's amazing. So I would personally recommend you to listen to such people and also specifically two people when it comes to Aqidah, which I told you, um, Sheikh Tahir White, I'll give you the name, and Mufti Munir. Okay. These are two individuals who are balanced. They're not extreme. They're not some, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So that's advice from me. My, my, my advice, advice always to brothers and sisters who have either come into the religion or are beginning to practice again, any teaching that hardens your heart, yes. know that it's taking you astray. Yes. Okay. If it, what do you mean when you say hardened? When I say hardened, I mean it makes you less compassionate, yeah. less caring, less tolerant, more judgmental. Yep. Looking down on others, oh, these Muslims are bad Muslims because yes. they're not doing this. Yes. Oh, this sister's not covering up. Astaghfirullah. Yes. This brother's beard is not as long enough as it should yes. be. Astaghfirullah. Yeah. Once you fall into that slippery slope, yeah. you know that you've gone, you're going astray. Yeah. Now, that does not mean to say that you water down your principles as a Muslim 100%. or that you, uh, you know, belittle the teachings of, uh, of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi the Sunnah. But if, as I say, it starts you, to, it starts to make you judgmental, angry, yeah. uh, resentful, less caring to your parents, less yeah. compassionate to people, that's not the teaching of Islam. And unfortunately, it's most of these groups, uh, they take you down that route. Yeah. Okay. So once you start seeing that, that I'm beginning to judge people yeah. on their outwardly, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, look, appearance, appearance or whatever, yeah then this is not Islam because Islam is that yes of course yeah. if a sister is not covering up yeah. say ya Allah inshallah make her strong inspire her uh, give her strength inshallah to follow the deen as you are happy and as you are pleased with but don't look down upon her why yeah. you don't know what she's going through yeah. Yeah. maybe there are some major issues going yeah, on yeah. with her life maybe yeah. she has mental issues yeah. Yeah. maybe she has a, a physical abuse or mental abuse yeah, yeah, or something yeah. which restricts her in some way yes. so we don't we should never judge anybody yeah. we should always wish good for them yeah. and whenever good reaches us yeah. never allow that to make us arrogant or feel superior yeah. know that that quality in itself yes. is nurtured by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in you and is a gift yes. yes and that can be taken away yeah if one is arrogant one is haughty yeah. so inshallah that's what I would advise my brothers and sisters uh, that, you know, uh, be careful of these groups. And Ali Dawa's, my brother Ali is very correct that it's always good to learn the deen from a scholar, yes. from a person of knowledge. Like a sheikh. Uh, a, sh a sheikh, somebody who's recognized to be so by other sheikhs and other knowledgeable people. Not some standalone person yeah. like me who might stand up and have, speak yeah, very yeah. sweet words yeah, and yet well. in, in Islamically, in Islamic terms, yeah. may actually be not very knowledgeable at all. Yeah. But go to a proper trained scholar, trained sheikh, inshallah, yeah. and learn the deen from them. Exactly. Yeah. Very important. That's why I said Sheikh Tahir Wai, because he's, he's qualified, he's been praised by the scholars, and he, alhamdulillah, is a very balanced individual, you know. So do this because these other groups, what they will do is, you will start looking, the disease is so deep yeah. that these individuals, when they pray in Salah, they are too busy looking at the person next to them. Is he moving his hand? Is he following the Sunnah? Can you imagine in Salah, in front of Allah, yeah. you are too occupied about what someone well, you else is doing. shouldn't even be looking at the person next to you. Exactly, the point, the point is this, when you focus on yourself, you nurture yourself. Yeah. When you focus on others, you're nurturing arrogance. Because yeah. you're not seeing what you're doing, you're too occupied with what others are doing. Yes. And that makes you arrogant. And we know the story of uh, um, Satan, Iblis and Adam. It's a beautiful yeah. example and a beautiful formula. It's a formula God has given us. Yeah. Because the formula, if you look at Satan, is God Almighty told him to bow down to Adam. Yeah. yeah? Now, he himself used his logic over God's commandment. So imagine how stupid, like the moment he denied to bow down to Adam because he said, I'm better than him, is the moment he proved that he's not better than him. Yes. Why? Because he said, I'm not going to bow down to him because I'm better than him. And that, that was a mark of respect, not worship. No, no. of course not. It was a mark of worship. Right. It's, yeah. it's something what Allah created with his own hands. It's a matter of, you know, what God Almighty told him. It's not a matter of worship. Bowing it was a worship. Respect. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so the point is, the moment he said, I'm better than him, is the moment he showed that he's not better than him. Yes. Because if he was better than him, he would, have, he would, bowed. He would have bowed. Yes. The fact that he didn't, he showed what? I, you are arrogant. less, you are, yes, you are an arrogant person. So this is one of the formulas, that's what the Prophet, peace be upon him, said. Anyone with the atom of arrogance will not enter paradise. Yeah. This is how severe the matter is. Yeah. So don't let Satan trick you into looking at other people and you're thinking you're doing something good by enjoying the good and forbidding the evil. And next thing you know is you've grown arrogant. Yeah. And when arrogance overtakes the heart, 
it can lead to disbelief. Trust me, we know many people who join these groups, they either leave, leave in their religion or they just stop practicing. But we don't want to long out, inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. I think, brother, there can sometimes be a bit of a fine line between being humble and yes. being a doormat. Yes. You, you want to be humble, but at the same time, there's, you don't want to let something, walk all over There's something called humble arrogance. Yes. You know what humble arrogance is? Inshallah. For example, Brother Abbas is here. Yeah. No, not Brother Abbas. Let me give myself as an example. I'm here. Yeah. yeah? And there's no one to give dawah. I'm here. And then people, I know, let's say, I know a bit of dawah, I can do it. But I wait here, waiting for people to come and say, Ali, can you come do it? I'm like, nah, nah, not me, not me, man. I, I'm not. This is humble arrogance. Oh, okay. This is not. Arrogance is not. If I see that and I say, you know what, guys, I know, can I do it? That's not arrogance. Because you're like, okay, there's no one here. Yeah. I can do it. That doesn't make you arrogant. But the moment you stay back and let the people, let the people come to me and say, Ali, oh, okay, all right, okay. Yeah. You're humble, looking like humble, but you're arrogant. Yeah. It's yeah. called humble arrogance. You're standing there like a statue. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know, let them call me. You know. yeah. yeah, that's okay. it. That's what I have the to say. The thing I would say is that Islam is an ocean. Yes. yes. Take your time. Yes. Uh, you know, Islam is a way of life, yes. but you have to work. Yes. You have to look after maybe your parents and, and meet yeah. their needs. Yes. You have, if you have children, you have to look after your children. If you have a wife, she deserves time and she had, she has rights over you. She's looking to get married, by the way. Okay, alhamdulillah. But uh, what I'm saying is that you know, so take your time, inshallah. That doesn't mean to say that we become complacent and we procrastinate. Yes. But it doesn't mean that you know you take things to a level where it gets to like breaking point. Okay. So, so in other words, you know, yeah, there's a point I wanted to. Yeah. So learn bring your, up on that. Go by order. Okay. Learn your salah, inshallah. Yes. And just get that done at, 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 on time in, at, as well as you can. Yes. Some people they put the translation on the floor or the transliteration so they can follow it. There's a prayer mat. I think you can get. Oh yeah, I can, the, I, can, I can get you because we can give you the yeah. prayer mat as well, inshallah. Okay. So just do your prayer. Yeah. Of course, you already, mashallah, you've been studying Islam. Stay yes. away from the major sins, the haram. You know, the eating of swine or you know out, uh, uh, relationships outside marriage etc 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 you know and then slowly slowly go through formal courses mashallah Aira do a very good yes, uh, yes. retreat for yes. new muslims we can even help you and arrange that for you inshallah yeah. which gets the basics of foundations yes uh, and and do it in that way yeah exactly don't try to absorb all of it yeah. and the other thing is we muslims have a, a i would say a bad trait as well, which is that we try to advise too much. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and it can get overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. So when people advise you too much, say, brother, I'm inshallah, I'm, I'm learning and I'm, I'm taking it step by step. Jazakallah khair for your opinion uh, and for your advice. But, I, I, you know, I, I'm studying under a scholar and I'm t taking things slowly, but I will take on what you said. Yes. And inshallah, I will discuss it with my scholar or whatever, because it can get overwhelming. You know, people, they mean yes. good, they mean good, yeah. but it's just too much yes. all at once, you know? Because yes. so, I think as Muslims, we're always talking, we're always in conversation. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know, so yeah. it can get a little bit overwhelming. So yeah. inshallah, take your time uh, and it, it's a vast ocean. You will never cross it. Yes. Learning will never stop. So inshallah, enjoy the journey. Yeah. That's what I would say. The, the aim is to die on the path. Uh, we have a group of uh, uh, reverts, converts, mashallah, uh, at EF Dawah. So the brothers and the sisters, we have the sisters group separate. We have a brothers group separate. If you would like to, we can add you to the group. And so you can talk to other brothers. If you need to ask questions to a scholar, we have Sheikh Abu Aliya, mashallah, who we can ask questions to, to, to for, for finer things and what have you, and help you in that way. We can also supply you with books and literature. We can also get you onto the courses and help you in that way if you want to. I'll give you yeah. the details. Thank you. Very <laughs> okay, very nice. Give me your number. We at Salam, we're working on a project where we help new reverts and Muslims, by the way, to learn how to pray Salah. So, yeah, um, yeah, working on a new project, specifically Salah, just focusing on Salah. We'll do that, but with EF Dawah as well, you can get it because you have a community there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your number and I'll just save it. I'll say. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you know that video from last week? Yes. We haven't released it, it's still there. Uh, you know, Anissa's father passed away oh, right. just, oh, I think, two, yeah. three days ago. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, two, two, two days ago, I think. Okay. So, Bichara, he's been really busy with that. Okay. But, Inshallah, if you want to put it, put it up, Bichara, no, no, no. I know somebody no, no, we'll else send has it to you. Well. No, 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 we'll, we'll send it to you. Have, has Anis contacted you? No. Maybe because of this he has. Okay, no, but I, 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 I'll, I'll try to send it to you. Yeah? I'll remind him, Inshallah. Is it Luca or Lucas? Luca. Oh, Luca. Okay, I've been calling you Lucas all this time. Luca, one of the things I wanted to ask you is because you come from a Serbian background. Yes. And... Obviously, it's unfortunate that there is this sort of uh, Christian Muslim uh, tussle that yeah. has been going on for many centuries. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how, how, have you experienced anything with that yourself at the moment, or is that? Yeah, I think uh, you know, obviously, Christians. Uh, 
you know, of course we, we have dialogue. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get to a stage where we're, you know, Insulting each other or whatever. But I mean, what, what's your sort of take on that sort of the Christian Muslim thing? I, I would say that, especially when it comes to family, yeah. uh, your parents and your close family, yeah. even if they're a bit antagonistic and uh, let's say very negative about your choices, try to be patient and try to be kind and explain to them in kindness that look you you know me for how many years now yeah. do you know me to be a reasonably sensible reasonably uh, always, well reasonably <laughs> reasonably intelligent person yeah. i don't rush into just things and just do them willy-nilly so if you want to ask me some questions as to why i have done this i'll be happy to talk to you but i would say to you that i'm the same same looker yes. same person that i was Yes, of course I have some different beliefs now and some different principles, but I'm still your son. Yes. And in fact, you know, Allah elevates your position as my mother yes. and as my father. Before, if you called me, I could ignore you because I was busy. Now, because I'm a Muslim, yeah. I, you have so many rights over me that I have to look after your rights over me. Yes. So if anything, you'll find me more uh, loving, more caring and more obedient, inshallah, inshallah to you. But deal with kind because because people don't understand. There's a lot of ignorance. Yes, yes. And ignorance leads to hatred. Yes. It can lead to animosity. Yes. So try to understand where it's coming from. Yeah. To be honest with yeah. you, brother, uh, we yeah. were talking with Ali just a minute ago. Yeah. I had a lot of these misconceptions. About right. Right. Too. Exactly. And, and to be honest, so I, I can see it from both sides. Right. Right. So what I can say to you, brother. As a, as a revert, now, yeah. should I call you Sheikh? No, no, than me. I'm not a Sheikh. Call you, oh, call <laughs> Just call me Abbas. Abbas okay. Alhamdulillah. Um, I can see, I can see, uh, um, I can see both sides sides of the coin. And as as a Muslim now, I can see where they're getting, I can see about where they're getting these misconceptions of course, from. Of course. Obviously, I recognise that they're mistaken. So I think you know, uh, uh, you know, maybe as a reaver, I can deal with some of those yes. things. With yes. Yes. And in people. fact, what you can say to them is, you know, when they say something harsh. Yeah. Say, so, you know, four years ago, three years ago, I would say the same thing. Yes, yes. But the one thing that has changed between perhaps what you're saying and what I believe now yes. is knowledge. Yes, that's right. That's right. Bro. So what I would advise you is, you know, at least even if you don't accept it yeah. to be true, I would say that if you'd like me to share that knowledge with you, I'd be happy to do so. Yes. When you deal with people with kindness, generally, generally, even if they're antagonistic or they're aggressive or they're angry, yes. it tends to bring them down to your level yes. of softness and kindness. If you're aggressive and you're angry back again and you rebuke people because they rebuked you, then generally they follow that tone or they get higher in yes, terms so it just of... Escalates. It escalates, you know. Yeah. So inshallah, understand where it's coming from. There has been decades and decades, if not centuries, of propaganda against Islam, against religion, against God, yes, against Allah, true. right? Yes, and so it's very difficult in a matter of a, few, of a short conversation to uh, change that. That's right. It, it, it takes it, time. It's prejudice at the end of the day. Yes. I, I had a, a family relative of mine tell me that they didn't like Islam. Yes. And then I, I questioned them about it. I was like, what is it about Islam you don't like? And they actually couldn't name anything. Yes. You know, because we dealt with all the misconceptions. We dealt with everything. And at the end of the conversation, they just said, I don't like Islam. Yes. And there was no logical or reasonable yes. uh, uh, reason why, yes. they, why they said yes. that. But, no, but inshallah, you know, um, it was a, a pleasure to meet you. But, yes. you know, th this is something that we find uh, happening over and over again. Yes. So people will come with a, why do you Muslims do this? Actually, we don't do that. Why do you believe that we don't believe that? Yeah. And so this is what we find that the, the, the hundreds of millions, if not billions of pounds that has been spent for propaganda against religion, against the Middle East, against uh, uh, Arabs, against Muslims, you know, yes. uh, unfortunately for a lot of people, it has worked, mm. you know, and, but it's our job, inshallah, as Muslims to hopefully try and take away those misconceptions, inshallah. inshallah. Okay, thank pleasure, you. pleasure to meet you, brother, and congratulations, mashallah. May Allah help you. I'll give you my number as well, okay. and then if you message us through EF Dow, we can get you a mashallah support with materials, with uh, courses, inshallah, as well. Yeah.
assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters hope this video was helpful for you this may help others too so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah so consider subscribing and you won't miss any jazakallah khairan